guys doing tonight? Awesome. Do you love Halloween? I love Halloween too, and I love being a part of the show, and I just want to give a happy birthday to Miss Deepa Kishore. And say thank you to her for having me in the show again. This is probably my third or fourth year. We've been together since 2009 doing Halloween Villas together right here at Gallery 5. Yes, that's very awesome. Um, but I'm here to introduce the next act. You can probably guess who that is, and she's not on stage right now. But, it's fine. but I know. But before we get to that, I actually I have a thing for you guys. Don't worry, you get to see that thing later. <laughs> I have a thing. Um, I love Halloween a lot, and and I just wanted to bring something special to you guys. This kind of from my background and my my childhood. My dad always called me pumpkin growing up. I know it's so cute, and I've just always loved Halloween and Halloween season and everything about it. So I wanted to bring you guys a poem. Well, it's more of a short story. Uh, from my childhood, something very classic to share with you guys here on Halloween night with the ghosts of Gallery 5. So, I have a story. Storytelling, Deanna. Okay. It's a story called, It's Decorative Gourd Season Motherfuckers. You, but I can't wait to get my hands on some fucking gourds and arrange them in a horn-shaped basket on my dining room table. That shit is going to look so seasonal. I'm about to head up to the attic right now to find that wicker fucker, dust it off, and jam it with an insanely assor assortment of shellacked vegetables. When my guests come over, it's gonna be like blam -a. Check out my shellac decorative gourds, assholes. Guess what fucking season is? Fucking fall. There's a nip in the air and my house is full of mutant fucking squash. <clears throat> I may even throw in some multicolored leaves into the mix all haphazard like a crisp October breeze just blew through and fucked that shit up. <laughs> then I'm going to get to work on making a beautiful fucking gourd necklace for myself. People are going to be like, aren't those gourds straining your neck? And I'm just going to thread another gourd onto my necklace without breaking their gaze and quietly reply, it's fall, fuck faces. You're either ready to reap this freaky ass harvest, or you're not. <laughs> Carving orange pumpkins sounds like a pretty fitting way to ring in the season. You know what else does? Performing an all gourd reenactment of an episode of Different Strokes. Specifically the one where Arnold and Dudley experience a disturbing brush with sexual molestation. Well, this shit just got real, didn't it? Felonies and gourds have one very important commonality. They are both extremely fucking real. I'm sorry if this is upsetting, but I'm not doing you any favors by shielding you from this anymore. The next thing I'm going to do is carve one of the longer gourds into a perfect replica of the Mayflower as a shout out to our pilgrim forefathers. Then I'm going to do lines of blow off its hull with a hooker. Why? Because it's not summer, it's not winter, and it's not spring. Grab a calendar and pull your fucking heads out of your asses. It's fall, fuckers. Yes. Have you ever been to an Italian deli with salamis hanging from the ceiling? Yes! Well, then you're going to fucking love my house. Yes. Just look where you're going or you get KO'd in the head with a gauntlet of misshapen zucchini-descended bastards swinging from above. And when you do, you're going to hear a very loud, very stereotypical Italian laugh coming from me. Consider yourself forewarned. For now, all I plan to do is throw on a flannel shirt, some tattered overalls, and a flappy fucking hat and stand in the middle of a cornfield for a few days. The first crow that tries to land on me is going to get his avian ass bitch slapped all the way back to summer. Welcome to Otter, fuck bitches. So just a little piece about why I love fall. It's yeah, for my childhood. I had to do it, you guys. I read that on stage naked in D.C. two weeks ago. Sorry that you guys didn't get to see me naked doing that here in, in Richmond. I know. Pretty much. We, we tried it and nobody came, so you don't get to see my sash. Sorry, guys. But what you do get to see is the next performer, and she is going to fucking murder you all. 